In this video, I'm going to talk about the latest software programming these RF hubs. In the latest software, I have unified all the RF hubs into one single configuration and one single script to do it. In software here, you just click this button and it will divert you to the uh, web page. And here is the pinout for 12 volt and the ground. And in next video, I'm going to talk about the CAN bus cloning. And for the BDM pinout, you can find for three types of the board. For each board, you need to know which size of flash. Here are the two CPUs. One has 384 kilobyte of flash, and the other one have 512 kilobyte of flash. In here, there are two types of board. This one has 384 kilobyte uh, flash, and this one have 512 kilobyte of flash. This one has the uh, external EEPROM. Here is the BDM setup. I'm using this BDM frame. In the software, first thing we need to do is to back up this RF hub. We need to go to the debugger on first, click this button or this button. So now we properly enter the BDM on and we can read the internal EEPROM. Save it. And external EEPROM. Save it. And this 512 kilobyte of flash. So we need to click this button. Okay, I have backup all the uh, files for this RF hub. If I want to clone an RF hub, I can load file. Here I need to load the internal EEPROM. Look at the title here, say load internal EEPROM. So I'm going to load this, load this file. And external EEPROM, since we do have it. So I'm going to say I want it. And I also need to load the flash. So for, for me, I have 512 and this is P flash. Look at the file size of 512. So I have here. This is only needed for 384. And in my case, I do not need it. So now I'm going to write the internal EEPROM. So click this button and write the external EEPROM. Click this button. And then I need to write the 512 kilobyte of flash. Yes. Okay, program finished. This RF hub is fully cloned. This is the BDM setup for the second RF hub. In the software, let's go to the debug on first. And even though it says detect 512 kilobyte, it is because of I have one configuration for 512 kilobyte. Internal flash is 384. So same thing, we are going to read the internal EEPROM. And I'm going to make another folder for this RF hub. So box. 384 so let's open it and save it so this one does not have external EEPROM we can try it but it will not read anything so now I'm going to read the 384 and in 384 I'm going to do two reads one is for the first uh, the 128 kilobyte the second one is 256 kilobyte and save it so look at those two flashes one is uh, uh, 128 kilobyte and this is 256 kilobyte in order to clone this RF hub when we load the file it asks for load for internal EEPROM then we load the internal EEPROM let's just grab it so this is only four kilobyte and when load the EEPROM this is important so load, load the External EEPROM, we, we need to cancel it because we don't have it. So I can cancel it. So now load the P flash, which we need to load this flash 128 first. And then this is 512. Uh, cancel if not exists. This one we need it. So we need to load this one. And now I'm going to click write internal EEPROM. And I'm going to click, click write the 384, not 512. So click here. Yes. 
This RF hub is also being fully cloned. 